Hey, Coach, yesterday okay, we Mark. spoke and you said that, you know, we talked about the team and the way they were able to adapt in each game. And, and you said that you would prefer that you dictate the pace and have the other team react to the way you play. Was today the perfect example of that? Yeah, we certainly did a much better, better job of that tonight than we did the other night. Uh, you know, I really liked the way we started. I thought it was a really good first period for the first time against them. And, uh, you know, they made it 2-2. I loved how we responded to that. And then I just liked how we played a smart third period. Next question comes from Colin Stevenson. Colin, go ahead. Dave, before, this, uh, before the first game against New Jersey, you, you know, you, you said it was important to start making some hay. Uh, now you've you've started off the road trip with two straight uh, wins. Um, you get Koppel back. It seems like you're you're getting some guys back now. I mean, I'm wondering if you could just speak generally about where you think your team is at right now. Yeah, we've uh, you know you win three in a row. You're feeling good about yourself. Um, you know we feel good about the way this went, this game went. Uh, I kind of felt fortunate. Uh, after the start we had two nights ago against Jersey, but listen, you know, we, if you're going to have a chance, you got to string together wins. You got to go on some sort of streak and some sort of run, and we really hadn't done that up to this point. We first time we've won three in a row, and you know, it's just uh, you know we're creeping up on the halfway point of the season. So, you know, our guys realize what's in front of us. They realize that as with each passing day, uh, you want to continue to gain momentum and continue to move forward, and you know. Hopefully we can get a couple more guys back here and play close to full strength. A lot of teams aren't doing it this year, but uh, you know we've done a pretty good job managing some adversity, and we just got to keep moving forward and build on what we just did today. Next question comes from Rick Carpinello with The Athletic. Carpy, go ahead. Hey, David. I, I know you're, you're tied up in the game and the playoff race and all that, but, but when, you, when you sit back and look at the contributions you get from the kids, the, the guys who played today, um, what goes through your mind? Well, just how quickly they've adapted. Um, you know, give these kids a lot of credit. It's not easy to develop in the National Hockey League. This isn't a league we had developed, but we've been in a position where kids have developed over the last few years, and we've got more here that are developing. And, you know, it's a difficult thing because part of development is having success, especially when you're a forward, you want to have statistical success. Because at the end of the day, that's how all these guys judge themselves by goals and assists. And as a coach, you can tell a kid, boy, you're doing a lot of good things. He's, yeah, but I got two goals and one assist in 15 games. Um, so, you know, it's a dramatic change in their hockey life, uh, how they're judged and the success that they usually have. It comes to an abrupt halt. And, you know, you got to be mentally tough to handle it. And these kids have done a good job of that. Next question comes from Vince Mercagliano. Vince, go ahead. David, two of those kids you didn't have for a little while in Hedl and Kako. So I just wanted to get your thoughts on what you saw from those two tonight. And Hedl in particular, did this feel like the closest that you've seen him to where he was before he got hurt? Yeah, there was certainly more flashes of his speed and the things he can do for us offensively, pushing people back and generating offense. You know, he's still finding his way uh, with the injury he had. And I thought Capo had a pretty good night for a guy that's been out for a while and, you know, playing as many minutes as he did. And uh, I thought he was pretty effective. Next question comes from Larry Brooks. Larry, go ahead. Two things. Is, uh, is there any issue with Mika um, uh, seeing his issue at the end of the game? And have you decided on a goaltender for more? Yeah, no issue with Mika. He feels pretty good. It was just kind of a caught a rut. And, you know, got a little stunned there and uh, not sure yet on the goalie yet. We're going back and forth right now, so uh, that's something we'll uh, decide tomorrow morning. Next question comes from Colin Stevenson. Colin, go ahead. Dave, I'll have to follow up uh, on, on that goalie question a little bit. Uh, when you say you're not, not sure on the goalie, is, uh, is Igor making the trip to Pittsburgh? And, um, and also, what's uh, Jacob Truba's status? Yeah, Igor's making the trip. He won't be in that tomorrow. It'll either be Kincaid or Georgie. Uh, Trub is very, very close to playing, so he's coming on the trip as well, and I'll be stunned if we don't see him uh, on the trip. Play Next again. question comes from Vince Mercagliano. Vince, go ahead. Yeah, but I want to ask about Gautier, because he, he gets two assists. It looks like he made some plays today, but there was also a stretch where he wasn't playing, so was it an up-and-down day for him, or was there an issue there? No, it was, it was just uh, one of those with some penalties, and um, you know he actually, got, he actually had to go in and get x-rays. So that's why he didn't play. It had nothing to do with his play. He was playing well. So we, we lost him for about seven or eight minutes. 
Okay, and, no and, he's, and he's fine, and he's fine health-wise. It was just a precaution, everything. 